Hello everybody, I am here to do uh, a, a bit of a disappointing announcement, uh, maybe, for some. Um, I'm announcing I'm taking a hiatus from the whole mixed martial arts breakdown game. Um, my reasoning is it's kind of stopped being tremendously fun. Um, so what I mean by that is... I look at the UFC, which is what I've been breaking down for a long time. We've been talking about a couple of years now. And uh, not really enjoying watching a UFC card to card. It doesn't mean that I don't enjoy elements of every card. Like, there are fights that I do enjoy. But the quality of the fights, the meaning of the fights on the card as a whole is going very, very downhill right now. And then when you combine that with... Honestly, some of the long-standing problems with the way UFC does business, uh, specifically around fighter pay, fighter rights, uh, promotion of fighters. It's kind of depressing sifting through the news, sifting through listening to you know Dana White talk about stuff. Um, it's always annoyed me because the man would not tell the truth if it was beneficial to him, and people do believe it. And you have to interact with a lot of people who have, we'll leave it at different views of the fight game. Not necessarily wrong, not necessarily stupid, although in some some cases I do believe it's stupid. Um, but I've often said MMA is what you want it to be, and the only people I really take particular issue with are people who boo uh, grappling for the sake of grappling, because it's like going to a football game and booing when there's a handoff. Um and not, like, not relative to the team. Just any time there's a handoff at any point, you boo. You're booing something that you paid to see. Uh, that was advertised in a nutshell. Um, but yeah. <sighs> but just kind of lost a lot of interest in it. The way they're handling it. You got you got champions who have to have a second job. You've got um, champions that the UFC is actively sabotaging. You have people holding out for big money fights. Uh, you have the whole thing of we have two, we're, we're going to have two undisputed lightweight champions because we don't want to uh, strip Connor, but we do want to advertise Ferguson Habib as a undisputed title match. Um, and I mean, the solution to this would probably be just to go away from the UFC, start breaking down Bellator and stuff. And I may look into that, but my thing right now is um, I live in a building where the Television is controlled by the the landlord. It's a it's a, ba it's a basement of a house. Um, and unless I want to pay to have like two separate TV hookups, basically, I don't get the TV that covers Bellator. And it would feel really weird to be doing breakdowns of a card that I'm. If I'm going to watch it, I'm going to watch it through either illegal means or like going to a bar or somebody's house to watch it and not at home so that's a be a bit weird so i'm still gonna watch mma still gonna enjoy mma but i need to get away from the fact of i don't want to i don't want to watch every card i want to be able to skip fights i want to be able to take a night off if i'm just annoyed with it and when i was doing the prediction videos to do a really good job, you kind of have to watch it all. Um, you have to be aware of everything, and it's gotten tiring, and it's not something I make any money off of. Which is not to say, okay, this is a stunt to get money or whatever. This is, you know, just the point that it's feeling like a job without the benefit of a job, which is to get paid. So... What I'm going to do from this point forward, I have a link to two channels in the description. One is my uh, online racing week. If you're a racing fan, I highly recommend uh, checking it out. And uh, additionally, on top of that, I'm going to... I, I have opened up with uh, my good buddy, uh, Byron Giant, a uh, wrestling pro wrestling podcast. Because we've been really enjoying... Really, really enjoying what we, we have to offer from... From New Japan and a couple other sources. Hopefully Lucha Underground comes back soon. And a couple other things. 
while we're not big WWE fans, we are enjoying NXT. We are enjoying elements of 205 Live. We thought the NXT TakeOver card this weekend was absolutely fantastic. And there are some things worth watching on WWE's main television, although it, the quality is not really there. So, I, I didn't want to just disappear. I wanted to, you know, put my thoughts out there and uh, give you a reason, basically, as to why... Uh, why there won't be MMA videos being uploaded on this channel for the foreseeable future, um, I may return at some point. Uh, what I'm going to do with this channel is I'm going to... I am going to do some uh, CFL football stuff once the season starts. Uh, because I very much enjoy Canadian football. Um, if you've not... If you're a football fan and you just dismiss it because it's not American or not big time... I highly recommend you reconsider. Um, it's an exciting game to watch. And uh, that's about it. So it's been a good ride. Appreciate everyone sticking with me and uh, watching the videos, but uh, just not making me all that happy anymore. <laughs> so have a good time. I'll see you either on the other channels or if I start doing something here or when the CFL season starts. And uh, talk to you then. And uh, Twitter will remain the same.